Martin, great to speak to you. What a moment this is for you right now in your career. Captain of Arsenal, top of the league, playing at the highest level week in, week out. Are you living your dream right now? Yeah, I am. Um, I think it's always been a dream um, to play in the Premier League and to play in one of the best teams, the clubs in the world, you know. So, yeah, I'm very happy where I am at the moment and, uh, and uh, yeah, just going to keep pushing, you know, to, to finish the season in a good way. That's, that's all we want to do now. So, yeah, just enjoy it and, and work hard. You have had some setbacks in your career. Was there ever a moment that you thought to yourself, maybe I won't get to the top? I think some moments, of course, you, you doubt a little bit. You have, uh, when you're in bad moments, you can get quite negative thoughts as well. But I think I've been really good at kind of switching the focus and always looking forward, uh, always looking to improve, um, always been working hard, you know, and that's been my way to, to get out of those situations, just hard work and, uh, and always believed in myself. So, so, yeah, I never lost, like, the, the fate or anything in myself, I always just kept on going. There was so much expectation at such a young age for you at 18. They said it was make or break for you. Yeah. How did you react to that at the time? How did you cope with that? Um, now some, some things I just laughed, you know. Uh, like you say, when I was 18 and it was make it or break it, you know. And, um, and yeah, I was so young. Uh, I didn't realise how young I was, you know, at the time. But when I look back, I was, I was a baby, basically. So... Uh, yeah, I think it was just a bit funny sometimes, you know. <laughs> what, sometimes what? the best way is to laugh. Yeah, yeah. Take the pressure off. Yeah, exactly. So, but I, I think always I've been putting like bigger pressure on myself than than the outside. So, so I didn't really care too much about what the media or anyone else said. How would you compare that Martin Odegaard that arrived at Real Madrid as a teenager to the one that sat here yeah. in front of me now as a player and a person? How have you developed in that time? No, I think I'm a, I'm a different person, a different player. I think I'm. Yeah, I've learned so much, you know, on the way, and I've uh, been through a lot. And I think, yeah, I'm just a different, different person today. Really, I was really shy and and uh, very quiet, you know, at that time. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I think I've learned a lot and uh, and been growing a lot this this last year. You say you're shy and quiet, but you're captain of your country, captain of your club. 24 years old. What kind of leader would you say you are? Do you? talk to the team ahead of games yeah I talk I talk when I feel like I have to talk uh, when the team needs something uh, I might not be the one going around shouting all the time or or doing these things but yeah I talk a lot with my teammates um, try to give my advice uh, my thoughts on, on what we have to do in the game uh, during the game you know uh, if we have some problems uh, so yeah I talk a lot but uh, I'm I'm maybe not the one shouting, but yeah, I'm talking. <laughs> Do you deal well with the pressure, that weight on your shoulders? Captain? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, as I said, I think I put bigger pressure on myself. And um, yeah, what the outside world says, that doesn't matter to me. So I enjoy it and, uh, and I like the responsibility and I try to just do it my way. That's, that's the main thing. And what a season you're having. Eight Premier League goals, Arsenal's highest goal scorer, five assists. Would you say this is your best football of your career so far? Um, yeah, I would say so. I think the the level I play on now is is different, you know, and and the team and what we're doing. So, so yeah, I think I'm in a good moment, but still, uh, I can get a lot better. I have a lot of things to improve, and uh, and yeah, that's that's the main thing, you know. You can always get better, and that's that's what I like. Do you prefer scoring goals or providing assists? Ah, it's a difficult question. This, uh, I've, yeah, I've answered these questions many times, it's a boring and I, and question. I, and I, I say different. I say different things every time, you know. So say something you've never said before, then. <laughs> uh, both. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe a goal is better. Yeah. How instrumental has Mikel Arteta been for you? How much of an influence did he have for us for on your decision to sign here? No, it's been been crucial for for me. Um, when I spoke to him before I came here on loan. I knew straight away that he was a good manager, um, that he was doing things well, and I believed in what he said and, and the project he was going to create. And uh, and yeah, I think every day you just learn uh, new things. Uh, you see more and more of the quality he has and how good he is. So yeah, just um, really happy to work with him and to be able to learn and, and to be part of this project. Would you say he's changed your game? Yeah, I would say so. I would say. 
um, not changed, but it's taken my game to a, to a different level and helped me improve areas and things uh, I didn't even know about, you know. So, so yeah, it's amazing. How would you sum up your role on the pitch? I think um, I think players in my position, main thing is to create chances, um, to create goals, um, you know, assists and, and all this. And then, and then off, without the ball, I have to do the work for the team to try to win the ball back as quick as possible, um, to do all the running, you know, and uh, and all this. So I think, yeah, midfielders they have to do a lot of things. So uh, it's not just attack, but you have to to be able to do. Yeah, basically everything. <laughs> and you do it very well. <laughs> what do you think has clicked for Arsenal this season? Because finished eighth in your first season, then fifth, now challenging for the title. There's been this steady progression, yeah. hasn't there? What's changed? I think um, there's not a lot of things that's changed, but I think uh, with the time we've just improved more and more. Everyone knows the team, the system, um, the way we want to play every day a little bit more. And... Uh, and of course, the players we brought in this summer uh, has been amazing on the pitch and, and also outside the pitch. You know, they've given us a yeah, different, different mindset, a uh, bit more experience. They've won things, you know, and so I think just a combination of those things. You mentioned the mindset. In what way have the coaches here, Mikel, transformed the mindset of the players? I think um, just through what we do every day. Um, I think the the passion, uh, the commitment, and how invested everyone is in in what we're doing. I think it just shows the the players and the team uh, how we have to act. And so it's just an, a natural thing. It's not something we talk about, but it's what we do every day that just helps everyone understand what to do in yeah, basically all the time. What was the best bit of advice that Mikel Arteta's ever given you? Ah, oh, that's <laughs> difficult, but yeah, I would say the my position on the pitch and what areas, what kind of spaces to threat and and where to be to to be dangerous. I think that's that's been the main thing for me to, to improve. Obviously you have a huge game coming up on Wednesday. When you have a game of that magnitude on the horizon, how does the mood change around here at the training ground? No, I think everyone loves to play these games. Um, yeah, these are the games you dream of, you know, when, when you're a kid and and yeah, playing late night, big game under the lights at home, you know, the atmosphere that's going to be there. So I think everyone is just excited. Do you feel like the pressure is on Arsenal because you are at the top of the table and if City do win, they will go top? Do you feel that pressure? No, I think it's like this every game, you know. Um, every game, if you drop points, you're going to be disappointed. And so it's, it's not really a big difference, but of course, when you play the team, that's behind you on the table you want to you wanna win of course but uh, I don't think we see this as really a big pressure but we see it as a big opportunity you know um, to beat them and uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Mikel obviously knows Pep very well never beaten him in the league how much do you want to do it for your manager as well because you know just how much it means to him don't you? Yeah I think everyone wants to do it I think the games we had against them um, last year I think we played a great game at home and and a lot of different things happen in that game. Now in the cup, I think we played quite good in, in a lot of moments as well. So, uh, so yeah, I think everyone just want to show that um, that we're serious, and uh, and everyone just want to beat them now. So that's what we're going to try to do. Obviously, Manchester City have a lot of experience in the title race. Um, do you think that gives them the edge going into the game, or does it not play a part? I don't know, to be honest. Uh, you cannot tell. Uh, everything can be a good thing or a bad thing, you know, depends how you use it. So um, we focus on ourselves and and what we have to do. And uh, yeah, that's, that's to play our game and, and to be on the front foot. And, uh, and hopefully that's that's enough. Are you looking at the game as a title decider or no, does that put really. too much pressure on you? No, not really. It's, uh, I don't know, 18, 17 games or something to, to be played after. So still a long way to go and uh, yeah. As we've said many times, you know, we take it game by game and this, this is a big game, but uh, there's still a lot of games after, so <laughs> it's not the, yeah, we're going to go for it, but uh, still still much work to do after. What would it mean to the club, though, if you were to go all the way this season, win the Premier League? Yeah, of course, that's that's the dream for everyone. Um, so, but as I said, uh, we have to stay calm. I've said it many times, we have to keep working hard, keep improving and... Uh, and then we'll see in the end. Um, 
but yeah, of course, that's, that's the dream. How will you feel when you're sitting in the tunnel, waiting to go out, listening to North London Forever, yeah. captain's armband on Wednesday night? Yeah, amazing. Um, yeah, it's my favourite thing to do, you know, to, to walk out there and, and to get ready for the game at home. So, yeah, just, just going to enjoy it. There seems to have been a shift in the atmosphere as well, the Emirates. I've never heard it like it's been recently. How much does that help you players, the support from the fans? I think it, it helps so much. I think maybe the fans, they don't understand how much it does and how much difference it makes for us. So, so yeah, to play there and to get all the energy and, uh, yeah, what they're doing for us is um, it's amazing. So really, really grateful. And, and I'm sure again on Wednesday they will be on fire. So... Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You've lived in a few different cities. Does London, Arsenal now feel like home to you? Yeah, it does. Um, I was moving around a lot uh, on loans here and there. So, so yeah, now finally I, I could settle down a little bit. And uh, I think the last transfer window was the first one where I <laughs> knew what was going to happen, you know. So I think it's been good for me to just get this, uh, yeah, a little bit more peace, you know, to, to just focus on, on what I'm doing. And do you see yourself being at this club? For a long time. Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm I'm very happy here, and I'm very, yeah, very glad. Very coming every day with a smile on my face, and and I'm enjoying my football. So, so yeah, of course, uh, I'm very happy. What would that young boy have said, arriving Real Madrid in that stripy jumper that day? He said, one day you're going to end up captain of Arsenal, yeah. challenging for the title. Yeah, of course. Uh, as I said, it was my dream. Uh, I grew up watching the the Premier League and. And yeah, this this been my dream. So uh, I think he would be he would be happy. And I guess as players, you dream to play in matches as big as this one on Wednesday as well. Yeah, it's what you play for. Yeah, these are the games you want to play, and and you know we we put ourselves in a position where where this is a really big game, and uh, that's why we have to enjoy it and uh, and make sure we we do it well. Where do you think the game could be won? I think um, it will be uh, quite a tactical game. Um, I think there's a lot of similarities, you know, between teams and uh, and the way we want to play. But um, yeah, I think you know, playing at home, we have to we have to go for it. We have to go full gas and be on the front foot and and play our game. So then we'll see. A lot of it up here as well, mentality. Yeah, it's a mental game. Football is a mental game, you know. So you have to be always sharp and so many things going on. So you have to be you have to be ready for everything and uh, and yeah, in the in the mind as well. Is there a good feeling? Yeah, always a good feeling. Martin, thank you so much. Thank good you. luck. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Thank you.